Is there an unforgivable sin? The, the catechism would tell us it's the sin against the Spirit. The church would also tell us that if you're worried that you committed that sin, the answer is no. So if you're worried about your sins, it means you're concerned about being open to receiving God's love and mercy. He wants us to come to him. And if we do come to him and turn to his mercy, he will forgive us. Brother Stephen Krop. I am a Capuchin Franciscan priest brother, and I am the director of the Solanus Casey Center, where we are right now here in Detroit. Our brothers moved here in 1882 to found St. Bonaventure Monastery and our public chapel. Uh, it's really just in the past few years since Solanus' beatification that we've been seeing uh, larger than normal numbers continuously coming to celebrate the sacrament. Uh, now we're very pleased to offer uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., there is always at least one brother available uh, to hear confessions. In the year uh, 2022, uh, we had almost 25,000 confessions that were heard. If you average it out, it's something like uh, just over 2,000 people a month who come to celebrate the sacrament here. Solanus really gives us the, the constant example of one who goes to God seeking his mercy and trusting that God will provide not only mercy, but every other grace that uh, he needed for his life. Of course, God is working in the life of a penitent. What often surprises me is how God is, is at work in, in my own life as a minister of the sacrament. I, you know, I think of times when maybe I'm really busy or really tired and, and thinking, well, I can, you know, get through this quickly. And then God sends in, right at the right time, the right person, who comes really seeking and needing and desiring in a very deep way to experience in a profound way the mercy of God. And it wakes me up uh, to my own reality to say, you know, this, this is really what I'm here for. I'm not here for the 10 other things I may have to get done today. We're just in a unique place here uh, at St. Bonaventure Monastery where people can feel the freedom uh, to come here, uh, to feel uh, comfort and assurance, uh, to be fairly anonymous uh, oftentimes, and they can come as, as much as they like and, and celebrate the sacrament and really feel uh, strongly in their hearts the, uh, the mercy and love of God.